Coming up, my annual list of ham radio and outdoor holiday gift ideas. I've got gifts for just about any budget, so please keep watching. Now I've been doing these holiday gift lists for a few years now, and this year's holiday gift list is a mixture of ham radio and a few outdoor items that will interest you Parks on the Air fans. Uh, most of these gift ideas are things that I have used and tested, and uh, some of the things that are, 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 are really items that I'd love to have. So this is in, by no means a comprehensive list, but instead some really neat products that caught my eye and would make great uh, holiday gifts for uh, amateur radio operators, especially those that are into the great outdoors. So let's start things off with a couple of books. This book, The Roadside Geology of Wisconsin, is really a foundation for much of my geology research for my Parks on the Air activations. Uh, the Roadside Geology of Wisconsin has been a constant companion for many of my adventures, and I'm Glad to see that Mountain Press, uh, the publisher of these guides, has expanded the series to other states. Each edition is written by a regional geology expert, and the information I find is really concise and easily approachable. Uh, my well-worn copy here is much of a testament to that. This book, Getting Started in Electronics, was recommended to me uh, by a viewer looking for an easy to understand book on electronic theory and settled on Getting Started in Electronics by Forrest Mims III. I remember these books way back in the day um, that were, they were uh, paperback editions were being sold in Radio Shack stores. And I see that the current edition is now an easy open spiral binding, which is perfect because it's packed with simple projects and it makes learning electronic theory you know, very approachable. If you found the electronics portions of the amateur radio license exams to be uh, challenging, then this book will help level up your electronics game. Now I know that not all states require um, a vehicle admission sticker to enter uh, your state parks and forests, but if your state does, Getting or giving uh, a state park pass is one great gift idea. Not only does it support the parks and maintains their infrastructure, but it also makes rolling through the gates uh, so much quicker. Uh, for those that uh, visit national parks, you know, maybe consider the uh, America the Beautiful Pass. Uh, more and more parks are requiring uh, vehicle admissions, and these passes help the park service keep up with the ever increasing demands of those that want to enjoy our national parks and forests and state parks and forests. Now I've been a longtime fan of Wolf River Coils and I've used their Silver Bullet Mini and the Silver Bullet 1000 for years. New from them is the Sporty 40, 40 meter coil. Uh, this little thing uh, is quickly replacing uh, the larger coils in my portable antenna kit as it lets me get on the 40 meter band with the uh, 70 foot, 17 foot collapsible whip. If you're looking for you know, a fast vertical antenna set up for 10 through 40 meters, uh, you really can't go wrong with this coil and one of those long whips. Speaking of antennas, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the KB9 VBR J-Pole and Slim Jim antennas. Uh, my most popular model, of course, is the 2 meter uh, J-Pole, but I carry antennas and frequencies uh, ranging from the 6 meter band all the way up to 70 centimeters and GMRS. Uh, the 2 meter J-Pole antenna makes a great uh, gift for uh, uh, fellow amateur radio operators, and my GMRS antenna has become extremely popular uh, with the GMRS crowd. Hey, I'll even uh, throw in a, a gift message uh, if you're giving one away, so just let me know. Now, I used to carry a set of jumper cables in my car, but they recently let me down. Jumper cables are only good uh, when there is another vehicle around to help restart the disabled car. And if you're in a remote location uh, with a dead battery, that is not always the case. Now I, really, now I carry the NOCO uh, booster pack. Uh, the GB40 has USB charging, a built-in flashlight, and will jump start a vehicle with up to a 6 liter engine. That's something like a, a Ford F-150 truck. Uh, it's, it's practically foolproof. You just plug it in and go. Um, it will let you know if you've got it hooked up wrong, uh, so you're not going to damage your vehicle or your battery with it. 
and it has a USB output so you can also charge your mobile devices. I've used this to jumpstart small cars like a Ford Focus and also that aforementioned F-150 truck. So I know this thing really works. You know, wool is a miracle fiber. Uh, for generations, it has kept the outdoor adventurers warm, and it doesn't have any of the shortcomings as synthetic fibers. I should know I'm wearing my wool uh, Pendleton shirt today. Fairball Mills uh, makes some of my favorite wool blankets. Uh, we use their blankets at home and also in the teardrop camper, and I just love them for their warmth and durability. Uh, their utility throw is a Great little blanket to give as a gift as it's made, a, it's made in the U.S. Uh, out of 75% recycled wool and other fibers. It's perfect for use in your car, at home, lounging in front of the television, or, or being used in about any type of outdoor activity. It's uh, Fairy Ball Mills uh, blankets I really, really recommend. Now, as you know, I'm a fan of fox hunting. Uh, that is searching for uh, hidden transmitters uh, using a directional antenna. For years, I've used a homebrew attenuator uh, to knock the signal down uh, when, I'm, when I'm close to a transmitter. And now I've upgraded to the MFJ762 step-in attenuator. Uh, this has up to 81 dB of attenuation, uh, which is perfect for searching for foxes or other types of hidden uh, transmitter devices, uh, BNC connectors, so it's easy to put in line uh, with your handheld radio and the antenna, and it's in a, in a fairly small form factor. You can find these online at all of your favorite major ham retailers. I've been searching for a good shelter to use uh, with my vehicle when I'm out doing a Parks on the Air activation. And when we're tip at a campsite, I can use uh, the awning on our camper, but out at some of these uh, wildlife areas and uh, state natural areas where I might not be pulling the trailer, shelter is almost non-existent. The Kelty Waypoint tarp uh, deploys fast off the back of your vehicle. You know, it's perfect for something like a, uh, you know, with something with a lift gate, like a Subaru Outback or a Jeep or um, uh, those types of vehicles. And I find, I found that Kelty products uh, are pretty reliable and quite durable. So I'm sure that the Kelty Waypoint tarp is going to be a great investment for someone, someone looking for you know, a little bit of extra shelter. A true holiday wish list wouldn't be complete if it didn't include an amateur radio transceiver. Uh, while I don't have this model, the Yaesu FT710 AESS HF and 6 meter transceiver has really caught my eye. It has a full SDR receiver, 100 watts out, full output, and all of the convenience features that you would expect from a modern transceiver. Uh, combined with its included speaker, the AESS system, also supposed to have some of the best receiver sensitivity and audio quality you're ever gonna find. I know I'd be very happy uh, to person if I had one of these <laughs> in my shack. So there you go. Did I miss something or is there something else that you'd like to see under the tree? Uh, what's your favorite amateur radio product? Uh, please leave them in the comments down below. You may also want to check out some of my previous holiday gift guides for more ham radio uh, gift ideas. Uh, links to everything that I, I, I talked about are going to be found in the video description down below. But that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Everyone have a happy holiday in 73. If you need more gift ideas coming up on the live stream this week, Joe and I will talk about favorite ham radio stocking stuffers. Join us Thursday, December 1st at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. The link is right over here.